talk Jamel Herring and Lamont Roach taking place in uh, Fresno, California. You know, it was a 12-round contest for uh, Herring's WBO Super Featherweight title. You know, uh, look, man, Herring came out establishing good work to the body, man. He was he was very, uh he was, he was targeting that body, you know, and he was able to get out on an early lead, man. Uh, look, Lamont Roach, man, was, you know, he was trying. He, he's a somewhat of a shorter fighter at 5'7". You know, uh, Herring, you know, um, had a, a, lo a slightly longer reach, but he was definitely more tactical, more more uh, calculated with the body punches, you know. Uh, later on, uh, Lamont Roach had to, like, wheel his way back. You know, he had to wheel his way back. He he actually caught uh, Jamel Herring in the 11th round, man. And if he would have, uh, even before that, uh, let, me, let me just speak on the, the, the knockdown that was supposed to take place of... Uh, uh, Jamel Herring hit Lamont Roach uh, on his way down. Looked like it looked like the feet might have got caught up somewhat, but this was before the eleventh round. I think that was the uh, eighth or ninth round. I don't, I don't really remember, but uh, it, it probably should have been called a knockdown, but it wasn't. You know, uh, but either way, man, Lamont Roach battled back, and he was coming in that in that eleventh uh, round. He was able to he was able to catch Jamel Herring, man, and it was visibly shaking. You know, he caught Jamel Herring. He was visibly shaken. And look, man, credit to Jamel Herring for keeping his will, you know, keeping his will about him, man. Now, what, what kind of shot was that? I think that was a, uh, looked like a, it was a right. It was a, a right cross. Uh, definitely connected, connected flush, man. Had Herring kind of, uh, his legs was off, man. He had Herring wobbly. Uh, Herring was on the ropes, you know, Herring, uh, the my ropes trying to finish him off, but he kind of ran out of, ran out of time. But, but Herring is, is a, smart enough to use his legs and kind of uh, buy some time man but yeah that was a right that was a right uh right it was like right hook yeah it caught him flush caught him flush man yeah herring backed up into the rose man he was trying to uh regain himself man he was able to get out of that round without getting knocked down you know what i'm saying so credit to him but yeah man jamel herring man uh ended up cruising all the way to the 12th man got a unanimous decision scorecards read 117 111 115 113 117 111 a little wide you know but still man jamal herring they, hey man he, he started off going to the body well and i credit him for that man that, that was a good you know they look he improved the 20 uh he proved a 28 too you know uh look man uh well 21 excuse me 21 and uh 21 and two and uh, Lamont Roach uh, get, his first, get his first loss on his record, man. But he, you know, even still, man, uh, uh, he he did his thing, man. Golden Boy, they they got in working with a uh, top rank, so uh, maybe there's some more fights to be made. But uh, at this division, man, at the uh, at this division, let's see, what, you know, let's see what if if Jamel Herring can get in there with a uh, uh, Tevin Farmer or. Uh, uh, Miguel Burchelt, man, I don't know. Uh, I, I think those are good fights, man. I, uh, Burchelt looks like the fight to be next. Uh, I think that's the next fight to be made for Jamel Herring. Uh, as far as Lamar Roach, man, I think he's still a player in this division, man. Can bounce back, man. You know, bounce back. I, I'm definitely will see. I'm definitely will see him again, man. But hey, man, congratulations to Jamel Herring, man. Uh, the Marine, man. You know, got a win in front of his crowd, man. This real guy in the boxing. <laughs>